All right, uh, check it out. Welcome to the lab. Um, I got one of my samplers up and open. This is the Akai MPC Live. Um, it's a sampler and sequencer, um, which means you can sample music, chop it up, assign it to pads, hit those pads, and record it as notes, and then play it back as music. Um, I've been using MPCs now for, I don't know, 20 plus years. Um, before these, I had uh, Roland SPs, um, but this is my uh, main machine that I used to use, this uh, Akai MPC 2000XL, circa maybe 2002. Same exact thing, just um, older technology, a little bit harder to use, um, not as much memory, you know, but uh, it's it's dope. It's, you know, got the big pads on it. And, it, you know, it sounds different. You know, like all these <clears throat> samplers, um, you know, they all have their own uh, engineering circuitry type of uh, inputs that they used, outputs that they used. It all makes a difference in terms of your overall sound. It says really dope drum sounds. Uh, for me, um, I like how it sounds. Not not as much with this, but, you know, you can... You can mess with your sounds and make them sound as dope as possible um so i'm going to go through a bunch of different techniques today and i i hope i hope it helps out um you know some of the things and i'm going to show you everything from you know panning baseline filtering <clears throat> i'll get into some chops some chopping um show you some basic techniques some more advanced stuff maybe break down a little beat um, that i made yeah and just show you some of the the general stuff um, that we got going. So if you if you look at this, uh, all your pads, these are where you um, basically assign samples to. And this is called a you know essentially, um, and this reflects what's what's a program. So uh, you could have a program with all drum sounds on it. You could have a program with all bass sounds on it. You could have a program with all your melody sounds on it. Or you could have them all on one program. It's really how you organize everything. And each of these pads, there's different banks. So there's, um, man, there's four different banks, eight different banks. If I hit it twice, it goes to orange. So you have um, a lot of play, a lot of pads you can assign sounds to. Okay, and you can go into this part here, and uh, you know, to your menus, and you can manipulate how these all sound. So you can pitch them down, you can uh, add effects to them, you can filter them. Um, but mind you, like, uh, so there's a little drum sound, um, maybe familiar to you, uh, give the drummer some. Um, you know, uh, you can assign anything to these pads, you know, so that's, that's, that's kind of important. But the main, the main thing to note that, um, you know, when I hit this pad, there's actually nothing on this pad. When I hit this pad, it just is basically referencing a sound that's in the, the hard drive of this machine. Because this is a computer. You know what I'm saying? You can attach this to a computer, and it can control a computer. My other machine over here, the 2000XL, is just the computer's all inside. You know, um, you can't attach it to the screen. This joint, you, you can attach to a screen. Um, you know, it's a software and you can control stuff in the software, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to be away from computers, not spend more time with computers. Um, so I do everything internally. Now, the cool thing about the, this, this particular product, the MPC live, um, is that it's got a battery in it, a rechargeable battery. So it's worth like six hours or something. So you don't have to keep it in the studio and it's actually made for like live sample playing, um, so it's really convenient. It's a studio piece of kit, you know. It's it, it can work in the studio, but like this motherfucker, like it's big and clunky. It's got a really small screen on it. Um, this joint has a big touch screen on it, right? So that's why I love this. I can ch chop sample on this, do everything really easy because I have a big screen. <clears throat> you know, it just makes it so so much easier for me. Um, but I, I like this unit because um, it's got a lot of memory. You can use, you know, all sorts of different cards. Um, 
etc. So anyways, your, this is like your program stuff. So this is where you literally, you, you select the pad, you assign a sound to it. The sound's on a hard drive here. And all of the little effects and tweaks that you make to that uh, pad is going to be reflected in the sound that you hear. Now, what you have down here, um, these controls, uh, this is for your sequencer. And you're actually, we're actually right now pushing a little bit. Um, this is my, my sequencer, right? And you, you can bring up different menus and all that stuff, but your main menu is always going to be your sequencer. And uh, it's saving. Um, you know, uh, I'll go over this in a few minutes, but uh, this is essentially where you, where you, you know, record your, your when you hit these notes, um, essentially. And you got sequences, you got tracks, and you got your, you can see which program you're using when you're recording the tracks. So I'll go over it in a few minutes and we'll hopefully make a little bit more sense.